Y'all, we appreciate you staying out here in the heat. I know it's hot, but I hope we're going to make it up to you and put on a great show and show you some really cool stuff today. But we are from uh, all over the place. I'm from Alabama. We got Dave from Georgia and then a couple of guys originally from Austria who now live in Florida, some of the top riders in the country today. And what we're going to do is show you the sport of trials. And you may have heard of trials. It's been in uh, motorcycles a good long time. It was pretty big in the 70s So when a lot of the bike Yamahas and Osas and stuff came over. Dennis has got an Osa over there at uh, Chesney Classic Cycles. And trials typically takes place in the woods over rocks, creeks, logs, waterfalls, and it's an obstacle course on two wheels. The idea is to ride through those courses without putting your feet down or without wrecking. If you do those kind of things, you get penalty points. You don't want those. So the person at the end of the day with the least number is the winner. So what we're going to attempt to do today is to take our riders up over and off all of the obstacles that you see out here today, including this wonderful Park Avenue vehicle out here in the middle. If we got any Buick fans, I'm sorry, but we're going to tear that car up and then eventually try to get them up here on top of the trailer and then off. So we're just going to have some fun today. We're going to turn the music up a little bit, tell you a little bit about the sport as we go through. Uh, just a couple of things that we like to talk about here. You know, obviously these guys are wearing helmets. Uh, some guys now wear full face helmets because uh, when you mess up on a rock and you slam your face into a rock, it's a bad day, you lose teeth. So we're going to try not to do that. The second thing is this. These guys get pumped when you guys cheer and get loud. And if you do, they try bigger crazy stuff. That's just the way it works. It's like Dave messing with them over there in the crowd a little bit. So we're going to kind of start small. We're going to work our way up. I'm going to go ahead and introduce these guys to you. First of all, on the bicycle here is Dave Campbell from the big city of Snellville, Georgia. Dave's 21 years old. Dave has been one of the top riders in the country for several years, and he has represented our country, the USA, and the World Championships twice. And this guy can fly out and get it. Great ambassador to our sport, all around good guy. Also was a star performer at the Cirque du Soleil show down in Bush Gardens, Tampa for two years. So he can do some crazy stuff on that bike. We'll talk more about why he ain't got a seat as we get into the show. And we're going to go down by age. So next, right there on the motorcycle in the middle is Alex Meterer. Alex, again, is from Bradenton, Florida. As you can see, it says pro on his number plate. Again, one of the top riders in the country. Alex is the Southeastern champion this year. Last couple of years, as a matter of fact, my brother just had to hold that title for a couple of years, and Alex is taking over now. So he's going to show you some crazy stuff on that 300cc two-stroke bike, just like that. And right behind him on the other motorcycle, riding a beta motorcycle, is his brother Andy, who is 19 years old, so about two years different. And he's going to show you some crazy stuff. Again, number two rider in Florida and one of the top pros here in the Southeast. So, are you guys ready? Alright, so we're going to kind of start small on the ground, we're going to do a couple of hops and stuff and then we're going to kind of work our way up here, okay? So I'm going to answer the question that everybody has is, dude, why don't these bikes have seats? Well in trials, as you can see, you got to move the bike, you got to hop a lot. If you had a seat, it would definitely get in the way and cause some problems. So that is why we don't run a seat. It would really cause some problems, as a matter of fact. So as you can see, they can hop the bike at will. They're using the clutch and the brakes. So for my motorcycle buddies here, these motorcycles weigh about 155 pounds with a full tank of gas. I don't know about you guys, but if my Harley started going over, it's probably going down. This bike, you can pick it up and throw it on top of the car. It weighs nothing, literally. And then Dave's bicycle is all aluminum, all kinds of stuff. So, are you going to hit it? You going to do the pyramid? So, again, we're going to kind of start off small. We're going to play like follow the leader a little bit here. So, Dave runs about pretty low air pressure in those tires. He's about to go flat. He runs hydraulic brakes on the front and rear. So, they're caliper brakes, so they will grab on the rim. But he uses a dribble tool to booger those things up and make them work. Be careful. There you go. Nice move. Hey, first shows we're gonna have some wreck, so come on, don't let them down, man. So Alex is gonna try it. Obviously, he can't do that. That. So. But kind of slow. You see, I got a big skid plate on that bike. So people ask me too, how fast these motorcycles go? Wide open with your head ducked between the bars, you might go 60. But it's like a tractor on steroids. It will literally go over anything if you can hang on to it. The rear tire, not the one that Alex is running, because he's gonna tear it up a little bit. But the one that Andy's got on his bike. He runs about five pounds of air pressure, and that's how you grab the knob, you literally just bend it over. Nice move, Dave. All right, Alex, you gotta do the same thing on the motorcycle, then. Just kidding. That's a 
little bit harder today. Hey, I told you about the first wreck, man. He's like, I know I can do this. I'm like, I think your foot pegs can hit, man. Hey, it happens, right? If we don't wreck in the show, we're not doing our dirt work. Oh, I know what he's gonna do. Don't break your toe off. There you go. All right, Dave. Now Dave's gonna raise the bar. Now actually, this is the first show that these guys have done together. You going all the way up? All right, big man, if you can do it. <laughs> Front to rear. Nice move, Dave. Now I want to see somebody do the box out here, because I know all these people in the front row down here. Now Alex, are you going to go first? Now Alex, are you going to front wheel first? So when you move up to the big boy class, or big girl class, there are some girls that ride pretty good. So he's going to kind of tap the front tire because what he uses all the suspension of the motor to make this thing jump. Just like that. Sometimes we call that a jap zap. The Japanese were actually the first to Kind of that Alright Andy, I don't know because me and you didn't talk about this, so whatever you want to do, man. I'm trying to tear up my stuff. Oh, and you side time off. Now Dave, is that box pretty good? Because it was moving a little bit earlier. The trials, you don't want stuff moving. Now Dave, is the goal from the box to the box? Today's going to try to go from the small black box all the way over. It's great. <laughs> no, if you miss that, you need to get the stitches. That's why I don't go to the front wheel. They finally got the point where they moved it back so far you couldn't go to the rear, so they're like, hey, let's land on the front. I don't know what crazy person started that. All right, now. Hey, Olivia, I would probably move down that pretty hard. Got my wife and girls with me. Hey, that's like a first run in the show. I didn't let these guys practice earlier because there were a lot of people around. I didn't want to show them we could do it. Hey, Dave Campbell. No, 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 no. Can you do what he just did? Well, that was pretty in control, man. He told me earlier, he's like, I think I did on the motorcycle. Well, I guess he was right. No front wheel, Dave. Oh wait, 
So how many people here can do a bunny hop on a bicycle? Any kids or any older guys like me used to can do one? You? So you're going to see Dave pretty much do a big bunny hop up here. So you guys back here on the back side can see it. You got it, Dave Campbell. Another reason not to have a seat. What are we doing? You think you can do that? Hey, what's the worst thing that happened, man? Correct? Woo! The car's gonna slip, man. It's getting dusty, dude. Are you going from there up?
Alright, what are you doing? Bottoming it out on the rim. You can see those holes in the rim that they cut to save weight. 